Well, the, the big picture is, is the walleye fishery that we have on the Winnebago system. It's a big body of water, it's a big system, and it's a very popular fishery. And the Classy. fish of choice on that one um, is pretty much walleye. And so with a system this large, there's probably two million plus people that are within 90 minutes of its waters. So it gets a lot of use over the course of a year. And with walleye being the, the, the chosen fish, we need to keep a, a good handle on that population. Some of the questions that we've always been asked is, well, you know, when do the walleye leave the lake and go up for the spring run? How long does it take them to get up there? How long are they on the marshes? So we've been able to speculate on those questions, but this year we've got this uh, sonic tagging study that we're going to use where uh, it's the same stuff we've used in some flathead catfish on the system and also more prominently on sturgeon. And we have 27 receivers scattered around up and down the rivers on the system and they sit and hang in the water and basically listen for the, each of these individual tags that we're putting in. And when a walleye passes one of those receivers, it records the, the ping number, which is the individual fish, and then also the day and the time it went by. It's gonna give us some real interesting information, um, just sort of another piece of the puzzle of, of how the walleye biology in the system is and what, what they do in the system. Anglers are a big piece in that puzzle. Fishing clubs picked up the tab for the study. The entire $32,000 needed for, to buy those tags was donated by fishing clubs in about a two week or three week period of making some phone calls. So I, I can't say enough about the, the various clubs. Anglers also hold the key to maximizing information from the study. Anglers who catch walleye with the sonic tags in them are asked to let them go. If you want to keep the fish, please call or email DNR so we can make arrangements to get the tag back. We can put it in another fish and continue to collect valuable information for our study. Walleye with the sonic tags in them can be recognized by the two or three blue sutures on their bellies. The fish also have two yellow tags near their dorsal fins. The yellow tags look like this. One tag is the regular number tag DNR puts in walleye during their annual spring assessment. The second one is thinner and lets anglers know those fish have transmitters in them even if the sutures have fallen out. Since a lot of the guys in the club saw fit to donate $32,000 to the project, they'll be willing to let a fish go so we can get the maximum information back from that, their money. There she goes.